Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We just got home from New York yesterday for Yara's birthday. It's Monday now, Yara is upstairs working and I just picked up Bruno from his weekend away. Were you at your little camp? We call it camp. Were you at boarding camp? Playing with your friends? Were you playing? <laughs> You are so spoiled, this is ridiculous. We love Bruno so much. Like literally, we missed him so much and we were gone for like two days. So yeah, Bruno and I just ran a ton of errands after I picked him up. I picked him up first thing. I'm like, earliest? I'll be there. And we had to go to FedEx, UPS, and the post office. <laughs> we had to go to all three. Um, I did a Target pickup, of course. What other way to start a Monday? All right, so let's see what we got. Carrots. You guys know we love roasted carrots. Oh, did I accidentally? All right. I guess I accidentally ordered two. Um, we like love having these in the house. I'll cut them up in salads. Sometimes I have them with crackers or just like on a little snack plate. I don't know. Something about them. And of course, romaine for salads. We always keep these in the house. We love a lime chip. Sandwich bags. Oh my gosh. I want to try one of these and see if they're good. Just like the perfect little treat. Yara and I love a, a small little sweet treat after dinner. Bruno loves busy bones. <laughs> um, I've been buying him the tiny ones, but now I upped to the mini. So now they're not tiny, they're mini. They're not the full size, but they're like perfect size for him. And he only has one left of the tiny. Um, ranch. Did you hear me talking about bones? Did you hear me talking about them? Oh, you want one, don't you? I'm sorry, you just had one, I love you. Oh, I got these crackers. So I normally buy the pumpkin seed cranberry ones from Good & Gather, but they were out, so I got the fig and rosemary. We'll see how they are. And we love this mango peach salsa. It is so bomb. Okay, another task today. I'm gonna set this up. It can't be that hard. Um, I'm probably making it a bigger deal than it is. But this shoe rack for the garage, because we have a ton of shoes there for when we work out and just like then they end up here yeah <laughs> you just jumping up on mom are you jumping up on mom did you miss your mama i missed you i missed you so much <laughs> why are you so cute all right i gotta put the groceries away i gotta put them away yes i do oh i bet your dad can't wait to see you but he's on the phone he'll come down soon yes okay so i have i still have all my stuff cut up from last week the like i have cucumbers cut up a bunch of fruit grapes all that you guys saw that i think in a different vlog but another thing i like to do is to prep my lettuce because we eat some salad throughout the week uh, and we use just shredded lettuce in general a lot or cut lettuce i also have just like a random <laughs> tea bag so i have been using those um fertility tea bags because you can use them twice so i was like i should probably save them but because this lettuce isn't washed i like to wash it i'm going to tell you how to get the crispiest 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 is that a word crispiest why does that sound so strange anyway i'm going to show you how to get some crispy ass lettuce and I've said it before, I'll say it again, prep your veggies and your fruit. It changes everything. So I'm just going to cut up the lettuce first. See like this lettuce is like, it's not even super crispy right now. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of flimsy. So I'm gonna put these four heads of lettuce in a big bowl. Okay, and once all my lettuce is in a bowl, I'm gonna add really cold water. Okay, so I filled it with ice water and I'm gonna let it just like soak for a bit. I literally add ice cubes. Like this crisps it up so much. I'm gonna leave it, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. And then I lay out a long line of paper towels <laughs> and just like take out the lettuce and let it crisp up and dry and then I'll show you guys how I store it. Okay, so I've had the lettuce out drying now for a while and it's super, super crispy. So the container I'll put it in, I put 
a fresh piece of paper towel on the bottom and then close it up and it should last you a solid few days um that's usually by the time we finish it so yeah it makes it just super crunchy and fresh and clean okay so we are heading out to get dinner with friends for yara's birthday here's what i'm wearing tonight um i kind of like faux blew out my hair with that little hot tool thing that i have like the heated brush so um i'm wearing these same wide leg jeans from new york i just i love them they do something for me and then just these little gucci sandals and then this long sleeve skims fits everybody um oh, this is folded over this little skims fits everybody long sleeve top these are so comfy i have multiple colors miranda fry jewelry yes the outfit will be linked below I just muted the TV before I vlog and Yarman's like, oh, you know how to use mute. I thought you were throwing shade because I always have on like something in the background and you're always like, it's mute it. It's because every time there's a tech problem, I'm the one you call. Yes, this is true. I like doing that though. That's that's like my thing. So. Well, I mean, you like got this whole camera set up vibing, which is great. Um, like this long tripod helps it look more wide angle. You're like a tourist walking around the house. I look like I have a friggin' selfie, selfie stick. stick. I have a selfie stick. <laughs> Guys, you don't even know the trauma we went through trying to figure out the camera situation a few weeks ago because like I love, I have the Sony ZV-1 and it's a great camera, but um, it's not super wide because I put it on action mode so it will keep, keep it stable for you guys so it doesn't get like wobbly and make you nauseous. But when you do that, it punches in a little bit. So we were trying to find like a more stable camera with a wider lens, but then they just got way too heavy. And like to vlog, it's just not sustainable to be like carrying around a super heavy camera all day. And the iPhone is nice, but the quality and the mic is just not always there. I don't know. Alas, here we are. Uh, good morning, it's 9.30. Um, I, we both worked out together and Bruno likes to sit with us while we work out, which is, really cute he sits in the garage on the floor and kind of like sniffs around and watches us and looks confused it's adorable anyway i am gonna shower the dog needs a bath you stink you stink from your weekend away <laughs> um so i'm gonna give him a nice bath before i shower because honestly i don't know about you guys but when i bathe the dog i get completely just destroyed <laughs> like just soaking wet so Gonna give him a bath, then I'm gonna shower. I kind of feel like self-tanning. I haven't self-tanned in forever, and I'm getting my hair done in a few days, and I feel like having a fresh tan would just feel really nice to get my hair done. You know what that means. You're gonna grab the mitts, and then in an hour or so, you're just gonna call him like, babe, babe, give me you, a hand, babe. You're, you're completely correct, so be ready. <laughs> babe! <laughs> or I text you, can you come to the bathroom? Yeah. And I just hand him the mitt. I'm like, can you get my back? <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. It's just so much easier having you do it than me like trying to finagle it with my like tool. It's way more. He's very good at blending. Yar is very good at blending out my back tan. Also, so I have my period. I'm almost done with it. Um, I bought these on Amazon because I can't take my favorite period medicine anymore since my surgery. If you haven't had surgery and you can take NSAIDs, oh my god, naproxen. Aleve, naproxen, I buy store brand of stuff so it's called naproxen. The best for relieving cramps. Like I get really bad cramps, I know a lot of us do. That stuff was amazing and I can't take it since my surgery. And when I say it's been a long 10 months, I miss that, I miss that. <laughs> um, but I can't take it anymore so now I take I take these, which I've showed a million times. They help a lot. The Semane, PMS, and Period. They're like all natural. My doctor said they're fine for me to take. They help a lot, but as much as they can. So with that and then like a heating pad, it's pretty much the best remedy for what I can do. Tylenol does nothing and that's what I can take. So I bought these menstrual pain relief. They're like heating pads that just like stick onto your skin but from my tummy tuck it's numb down there so like i couldn't feel if it was getting hot and then yesterday like an hour after i put it on i feel it i'm like this didn't even get hot <laughs> so i'm gonna stick to the heating pad this was very upsetting because it helped bye see you later when you have to rub my back <laughs> oh, 
But anyway, um, let me know. Do you guys, I know it's been like a really long time and I almost feel like it's kind of like past its point, but like, do you guys want me to do a plus size tummy tuck video Q and A? Let me know. Is it just way too far gone? <laughs> Cause like, I feel like I'm finally ready to talk about it, but I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, um, all right, Bruno, ready for a bath? I can't vlog the bath. It's just way too chaotic. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm gonna try a new self tanner. This is the one I got on Amazon. It's a one hour express, which is my fave. Bronze tan, vanilla scent, made in Australia, salon quality. I love trying Amazon self tanners. So this is a new one for me, and then I just got this tanning mitt off Amazon. I'll link both of these, but um, you'll see soon if you wanna buy this or not. So. I'll be back. All right, tan is on. It looks really pretty. Yar came in and did my back. <laughs> I put it on my face too. <laughs> Just because like, why not? Um, so it says for the dark to leave it on 60 to 90 minutes. So I'm gonna do the 90 and then we'll see how it looks like way later at the end of the day when it develops. Okay, here's a better look. Granted, this is just like the bronzing layer, you know, but looks pretty good it's definitely it wasn't like orange but it also wasn't super olivey like it was a really nice middle so we'll see okay for dinner tonight we're having honey ginger chicken with some balsamic glaze brussels sprouts so i'm going to prep the chicken and marinate it in this all day this stuff is bomb okay a few random updates wow i look a little cuckoo um it's been 90 minutes i'm about to go shower this off my face got a little messed up, but you guys know the first layer is just the bronzing <laughs> and then the tan will develop after. But a few random updates. We've gone through two bags of this. Bruno loves it. So I first bought like a berry one and then I got the chicken, pumpkin and turmeric. I think he likes this one more, but he loves it. Um, it's great as a topper. It has like a bunch of amazing stuff in it. Makes their food a little more fun. So this is Bruno approved. And then heading out to the garage, I got these hooks from Amazon. I'll link them. They're like really cute command hooks and I have like a really heavy raincoat on here. Um, I'll put Bruno's leash and dog walking bag with like my poop bags and treats and umbrella. So I put those right by the door and it's been great. And then I just built this myself because I didn't want to wait for Yara to have to do it after work. So I'm like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I got it from Target. I'll link it. Um, it's a rolling shoe rack because we've just had our shoes all over the floor here. We're trying not to wear shoes in the house much anymore, but it holds a ton of shoes. It has them on the both sides and it rolls, which is cool. Um, so yeah, like it just, it's really helped to like organize this little entry in the garage. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? You are very clean from your bath. You're very clean from your bath. I like it. I like it. I want to cuddle you forever. Want to cuddle forever? All right, I got to go wash off this fake tan. Many hours later. Okay, it's much later. I am letting my tea steep. I usually drink it in the morning, but tonight I'm drinking it at night. Um, so Yara and I just had dinner and watched a couple episodes of Game of Thrones and we're going to watch another one because we are, well, I'm addicted. He's already seen it and I'm also snacking on some grapes. Got to let this steep and cool down. And now we got this guy. Does anyone else's dog have spots throughout the day? This is where he likes to lay in the evening. We also just went for a walk. You, me and dad went for a walk and you went poo poo like a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Good morning. It's the next day. Um, I am up bright and early because Bruno is getting neutered today and I have him next to me and he has no idea what's coming. I don't know why I'm like so nervous. I'm just so nervous and I just feel like I'm gonna cry. He's just like my little baby. He's my little baby. Who's a good boy? He hasn't been able to eat or drink this morning either because he's having surgery. So I felt really bad because he was like at his breakfast bowl like, hey, it's breakfast time. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. It's not breakfast time today. Oh, God. So I'm getting, I'm getting matcha. I got up early 
and um, put on a little bit of makeup because I'm gonna be out for like the whole day. Um, after I drop him off at the vet, um, I'm gonna pick up my mom and then we're gonna go to my grandma's um, for her to get Max. If you guys, I, I've said this before, I feel like everyone lately has been like, where's Max? I'm like, Max is at my grandma's. He's either at my mom's or my grandma's. They kind of rotate him because my mom works. So that's just their little routine. They both love Max and it works. You hear sirens? Do you hear sirens? Good morning. I feel really bad because you can't have a pup cup this morning. And that makes me really sad. He's gonna be, we're gonna get up to the window and he's gonna be so excited. I, should, I shouldn't have even come to Starbucks. Oh my God. I'm so, maybe he won't notice. So yeah, my mom and I are gonna go visit my grandma and get Max. It's good too, cause then we get to like go to my grandma's house and they get to like exchange the dog and then we get to hang out. So it's nice. Um, and then after that, I'll come back and get the dog. So yeah, and then we'll see how he's doing. And then they're gonna like give me the rundown on like the cone and the meds and stuff like that. Um, I remember when Max got neutered a while ago. Um, I don't think Bruno is gonna like the cone very much. So that'll be a journey. <laughs> Did you hear him? He just sighed. He's like, I know what you're about to do. Do it all. Do it all. Hello. Hey, handsome. Many hours later. So I carried Bruno in on his bed, his car seat. The poor baby, he's so sleepy. Like he didn't even want to wake up, so I'm just gonna leave him in his car seat, let him sleep. Good morning. I'm not even gonna try to make myself look cute because got up early to give Bruno his medicine and check on him and he is doing really well. Yesterday he was really just tired. <laughs> Poor guy with the cone. He does not like the cone naturally. Um, oh. He's like, Dad, give me cuddles. He seems a lot more, uh, a lot more like himself today, which is nice. Like he actually slept really well. Um, and he, he's been taking the pills really easily too, cause he's on three different medications. So when we got home, the first thought was peanut butter. <laughs> Dogs love peanut butter. Um, and he just like was not having it, but he loves his little Kong spray cheese <laughs> that I put in his Kong sometimes this thank gosh i have this because <laughs> this has been a game changer so i literally just put the pill on a spoon and then a little bit of cheese and he just eats it right up so um if your dog doesn't love peanut butter and you need to get them to eat a pill try spray cheese <laughs> he does keep trying to like lick his incisions and he obviously can't with the cone and i feel so bad but like it's what has to be done so um yeah, this morning though his tail's been wagging and he like he, he's just acting like himself, which is like kind of surprising for like the first morning after surgery, but I'm just really glad he seems pretty good. Um that makes me happy. And I'm just gonna kinda be home with him today, um, like keeping him company and I'll probably just do work on the computer and hang out with him. So uh, I'm going to make some coffee because <laughs> it's been a morning. So I was really excited because I found zero sugar pumpkin spice creamer. Oh my gosh. So I got this instead of my usual. Um, I usually get the sugar free. Um, oh, what is it called? Sweet. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. It's in a purple bottle, but I found this. So I want to see if it's good. And I'm just going to try it with my usual uh, blonde cold brew. Yesterday, Yar set up our Roomba, so that's exciting. Test that out. I don't want to test that though until Bruno is better. I don't want to stress him out. Oh my God, look at this hair. Good times. All right, let's try it. Ooh. Y'all, that is so good. I'm gonna be so sad when that's gone. Like not in season anymore. <gasps> that's so yummy. Oh my God, 10 out of 10. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up too. I got this on Amazon um, for our front door because I had got that other little doormat 
with the pumpkin but it's kind of small so i'm putting it by um the other door near the garage but um i got this like two piece set on amazon so it has like a bigger like buffalo plaid one underneath and then this one on top so let me like take it out and i'll show you okay so this is adorable look how cute i love it i had it centered but i kind of like it up higher it's actually really good quality so i'll link it i love it it looks so cute all right multiple updates where you go <laughs> that's his spot he he takes naps right there right in that corner yep that's your spot huh so we got bruno a vest like a medical healing vest at the pet store so he doesn't have to wear the cone it's amazing oh my god he's so much happier no more cone so it like velcros around it's for healing incisions so they won't lick it it basically covers his whole underbelly um and then you just like unsnap the back when they have to go out to the bathroom but he's so much happier oh you should he be you want to take a nap <laughs> and then also update i sold this table from our old house i did not love this table here i've been wanting a round table um so i sold it and yeah it's gonna go under this round light i bought a new one already it probably won't come in for like a month so this is super empty right now so it's kind of funny <laughs> but stay tuned for that makeover and i'm gonna end this vlog here because we're gonna go to our niece's birthday party all right i'll see you guys later bye